to the Kung Fu. Kung Fu is really a kind of a modernized uh, usage of the word. Kung Fu does not relate to just martial arts. Mm -hmm. um, back in the day, the person with the best Kung Fu in China was actually a cook. It was mm -hmm. post-ed, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, Kung Fu just means skill, and you can have skill in typing, in writing, accounting, cooking. It just, you know, there's Kung Fu is not synonymous with just martial arts. Martial arts, I think, is wushu, uh -huh. okay, but because of modern society, now Kung Fu is associated entirely with martial arts. One of the terms that I, one of the ways I like to, to distinguish it is um, Kung Fu, I like, I've always liked the definition of Kung Fu is hard work applied over time to learn a skill, and that's Kung Fu. And the idea that makes Kung Fu less about techniques and more about work ethic and more about your uh, willingness to put in the, the, the hours to learn stuff. And I feel that is a wonderful lesson that they don't illustrate in the movie. And that is anybody can learn how to punch and kick. Anybody can learn how to do a rear naked choke or any number of things. But you don't learn Kung Fu. Kung Fu is cultivated by those around you. Um, the techniques are ancillary to the willingness and the desire to put in the effort to learn them. And, and that work ethic actually kind of brings into something that my grandfather used to always tell me, which was, you can do anything any other man can as long as you try hard enough. Mm -hmm. As long as you believe that you can do that and you work towards it, and you'll be able to do that. Mm -hmm. um, there's no reason why. Again, this whole thing is about belief, but it's also about looking at things in a slightly different manner. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, Sifu, in order to teach Po martial arts, he had to think out of the box. He realized halfway through that he could not teach Po the same way he taught other people. Mm -hmm. He had to literally take him out of the box and take him to a different site in order to teach him Kung Fu. And what's really cool is that the... the teach him martial arts. Huh? Teach him martial arts. Teach him martial arts. Teach him how to punch mm -hmm. and kick. Um, he had to take him out of the training hall, which in uh, Chinese we refer to as kun, mm -hmm. right? They don't refer to it directly in the movie dialogue, just didn't happen to uh, mm -hmm. mention that, but they that's their terminology for it. He literally had to take him someplace else, take him out of that setting to really think in a different way, to make Po the best Po he could, mm -hmm. to make him work at it. So it wasn't a case of conforming yourself to the martial art, but making the martial art conform to you to make you the best person possible so that he can be the dragon warrior so that he can beat uh, Tai Lung mm -hmm. in the third act. And that is exactly the approach that is taken to tactical kung fu and that, you know, that's why we have so many martial arts. Why are we a mixed martial art? Because we want to have something that is best for the individual. Mm -hmm. And it should, might take some time to find that. You might have to, you know, hide the cookies on the top shelf. Which is, it's just, a, which is lovely. Phenomenal scene. Phenomenal um, scene. And, and it, it's also a testament, again, one of the many things that's wonderful about this movie, is the notion that, that, that children, children watching this, they can, it's a way to introduce to them that a person who is an expert, who is a master, still has to learn. Shifu is a master of, Kong, is a master of fighting. He knows all the punches. He knows all the kicks. He knows all the pressure points. He knows all the fun stuff. But he's not an expert at teaching Po. He has to learn how to do that. He's an expert at teaching tigress. He's an expert at teaching snake. But he's not an expert at teaching Po. And it's an intimidating task for him. He has to learn how to do that. And so it's wonderful to be able to teach a child that even the best of the best still have more to learn. Always learning stuff, man. In my opinion, the moment you stop trying to improve yourself is the moment you start getting worse. Right, so you're always learning, always adapting, because every everybody's different, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, until Poe came along, Shifu had it locked down. He's like everybody does everything the same way, but then there's this panda, and it's totally different. It didn't fit within his little box. He had mm -hmm. to come outside of that, and the reason why he came outside of that is because he made the decision to believe that it was possible, and that's a big thing. Again, going back to belief, and not just to believe in Poe, not just to believe in his master who said. Poe is the Dragon Warrior, to believe in himself that he could bring the best out of Poe. Once he believed in himself, he was able to do what he needed to for Poe. This is a wonderful lesson to teach children. And 
one of the great, adults. one of the great yeah one of the great things as an instructor um, looking through uh, Master Sifu's um, teaching and stuff like that he by making Po better he made himself better he brought himself the inner peace mm -hmm. which is a, another great thing that I think people don't realize is that I don't like make myself better by simply repping out and doing stuff. I make myself better by trying to make other people better. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what has improved me a lot through martial arts and I've taken that from not just martial arts but to everything in life. I'm like, if I can make your life better, that's gonna somehow make my life better. I don't know how, I don't care. My life is better. That's the thing. Um, same thing with martial arts, man. And that's true in this movie. By teaching Pope martial arts, he made himself better. He found the inner peace that he's been looking for, mm -hmm. which is also kind of a running gag throughout the entire movies where they're all like meditating, going any inner peace, peace inner peace. peace. Quit that flapping. It's yeah. flapping. <laughs> oh, it, get, it gets better. You got to see the whole franchise because that's a, that's a gag that keeps on going. Oh, really? okay. Yeah, but again, we're only talking about the first movie because right. there is so much to unpack in this first movie. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really good stuff in this franchise. Um, the last thing I'm going to talk about mm -hmm. as far as the terminology is concerned and something that they didn't specifically pick up or uh, point out but it is there and this uh, one of the things that the really impressed the Chinese culture that way back in the day if a student wanted to learn a martial art from an instructor they had to kind of earn their way to do it they would spend years just working away hard work just to be able to learn a little bit <clears throat> or just to be able to <clears throat> Sorry, I got a cough. Mm. Just to be able to call the their instructor an instructor, like just to be able to say Sifu or Sensei or Master, right? And the they structured a lot of their martial arts like uh, some of the academic four year schools where they have like those freshman weed out classes where you're in a class with like 600 other people. I was in a class with like 600 other people. It yeah. was crazy. Right? Or the ones that are insanely hard just to try to discourage people from pursuing, you know, their dream. Yeah, so there's a lot of that in ancient Chinese martial arts where they had that. But one of the things as far as naming is concerned is that, again, you had to earn the right, the honor to uh, say Sifu or Master, to call your instructor by that name. And that's actually highlighted in this film. All right, there's he spends probably half the movie or so saying that he is not your master and that he makes a choice. I am your master. I'm going to be your master. He picks Po. Mm -hmm. And that that's something that uh, is very similar to what I do here is that sometimes, a lot of times actually, uh, as far as ranks are concerned, I just look at someone like, you're going to be this belt because you're there mentally you know, you're acting like it, you believe that you are there. Mm -hmm. And so that very much highlights. But again, I don't think they played up that point or put it on there, but it's mm -hmm. definitely there. And there, there's a really pivotal scene where he's like, I am your master, and he points a staff at him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's like, you're going to call me this from now on. And also going back to names, the moment that Ho gets the dragon uh, scroll mm -hmm. um, is the first moment in the film where Sifu calls Po Ho. Po. Mm -hmm. Beforehand, uh, was always, awesome, all, always calling him Panda. He's always calling him at the Panda. All right, now he's calling him Po. Mm -hmm. He got to that point. So I thought that was really cool. It's beautifully done. Yes. Skidoosh!